of the storm with the wind and rain we're expecting. Tracy here now with our first alert forecast. Hey, Tracy. Hey, you know, a lot of things are going to be changing. A lot of uh, plans will be changing. When you talk about weather this impactful, you're going to have to do something different. Let's take a look and see what we're expecting because we do have a pretty stor uh, significant storm system moving in. Here is a look outside right now, and it's going to be all about waterways over the course of the next 48 to 64 hours as a very significant storm system is headed this way. First alert action days are Wednesday and Thursday. Flood watch in effect, damaging wind gusts expected, heavy Sierra snowfall. Let's time it out. Few spotty showers in the forecast for today. After that, we have another wave coming in, just hitting the coastline around 4 o'clock tomorrow morning. When does it hit the valley floor? Coming in around 8 a.m., starting out as light rainfall with a few spotty uh, showers expected. And then a larger wave comes in. This is the cold front. This is the best opportunity for thunderstorms that will be heavy at times. And I'm going to even add in a chance. For thunderstorms. Winds are expected to pick up with the passage of this frontal boundary. They're going to be anywhere from 35 to 45 to 55 miles per hour. 7 o'clock at night, we're still looking at the opportunity for rounds of heavy rainfall. Back behind the passage of that cold front, you'll still have a few showers in tow, but the heart of this system, the brunt of it, is expected to come through Wednesday night into early Thursday morning. Those are going to be the heaviest rounds of rainfall. And then finally, this system should move out by Friday morning. Now I'm going to on the winds because this is the story. Winds gusting up to 39 miles per hour for Sacramento. This is Wednesday at 7 o'clock in the morning with that warm front. 10 o'clock in the morning, they're gusting up to 49 miles per hour. Now we get to the cold front, and this is where you have the most lift, the most instability. 51 coming in for Sacramento. And look at this. Right when you get to around midnight, 62 mile per hour winds expected to be gusting in Sacramento. You couple that with heavy rainfall, down trees and power lines are going to be a concern. As we move into your Wednesday night, Thursday morning, you definitely want to have your cell phone charge just in case you wake up and you don't have power. A few spotty showers thereafter and then finally those winds will begin to subside. High wind watch is in effect for the Sacramento Valley. High wind warning in effect for the Bay Area. Flood watch in effect Wednesday through Friday for the opportunity for again more local flooding and more urban flooding. How much rainfall? Two to four inches coming in for the valley floor. Three to five inches coming in for the higher terrain. And for some areas just under 6,000 feet that get genuine rainfall, you could see seven inches of rainfall. Winter storm warning in effect because now we're talking about three feet of additional snowfall. Again, this is going to be a big deal for us. We just had a major storm for New Year's Eve. That was an atmospheric river. This is another atmospheric river, but this one is going to have more of a wind component. 30 mile per hour. 30 inches coming in right now for Kirkwood, 30 inches close to that for Bear Valley, and close to a foot coming in for Blue Canyon. I'm really stuck on those winds. Take a look at your future cast. This is a low pressure system, and it is a bomb cyclone. That means it is strengthening so quickly, we're seeing the millibars, at least 24 millibars, decreasing over a 24 hour time frame. What does that mean? That means that this is a very significant storm system. It's going to help push in that atmospheric river, and unfortunately, it's going to kick up the opportunity for some very significant weather for us. We are looking at a first alert action day for Wednesday and Thursday, and more rain in the forecast.